I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. love how these loading screens look like oil paintings on canvas so they did a real good job with awesome graphics awesome like as i said the atmosphere is really really great in this game and yeah again you notice i don't have the beef most beefy pc it takes a few minutes to load there we go let, let it This will, this will work. I was, I was worrying that that I have a huge frame drop due to OBS running um, the streaming and the recording at the same time, but it seems like actually this will do. So now I have to just keep an eye on the volume of the game, but I think this should be okay. While the intro was really loud, this is okay. So we are coming from the south towards the north. We already have one quest with a quest marker. We should t talk to someone but for now let us just immerse in this scenery so we come from <clears throat> from the war ridden area here to the south and head over north yeah. and he was talking about the valley that our mother was talking about and there this is also one thing that i really loved when i started playing this game you come out of this stretch of woods and then you have this vast valley just waiting for you. This is, it is kind of breathtaking if you see it, if you, I, I didn't think it was breathtaking when I saw it on the Let's Play, but when I played it for myself, it was really breathtaking. Coming out of here, controlling the character myself and then seeing this vast valley. So let's just head down here. We can see some fields with some kind of grain left and dried. Right, not dried. They, I mean, after all, they need to eat, right? So let us head down here into that little village here. And immediately we hear the animals. And there is the Castellan Uni Ghost. Let's talk to him. Hey, stranger. What brings you to your, to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. No, I'm not. Resimir's my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Jordan. In his old home, they called him Jordan the Craftsman. Uh, the Raftsman. I think there is a C missing here. Jordan? Ah, yes. He told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why that? What happened to my uncle? <sighs> he was a great man, and an even better friend, Rasimir. As a good craftsman and excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. I just wanted to point somewhere. I'm, I'm now kicking into full Game Master gear, <laughs> wanting to play the character, actually. 
my mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. <sighs> Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and our excellent beer, pulled by ten oxen. He wasn't fooling around, I can tell you that much. So, what happened? How did he die? His trek got ambushed by bandits, his cart is slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight. Took two with him to death from what we saw when we searched him. I buried him myself, or better, what the wolves left behind. I'm sorry to be the bearer of such news. And my uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all the way for nothing. Oh, don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste. And even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am the Castellan, however you pronounce that word, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? Well, I can craft simple tools, I can collect my necessities from the wilderness, I know how to count and to barter. Oh, that's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land? As much as I want? As much as you can put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? Well, you can cut down trees to build your house. Reed grows by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you'll find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in a forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to the people here or in the other villages. Maybe someone will pay you for help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time to me to find the right place. Let me see if something special for you. Mm. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Well, thank you so very much. See you next time. I don't know why I took on this um, this girly or... or womanly like voice this is normally how, how i normally do a woman <laughs> and usually i do my regular voice for the myself character but for some reason i saw this voice more fitting so here it explains to us um that i can use the tab menu to access all the other menus uh to use q for the mouse wheel and left alt for some kind of inspector mode and brace yourselves, I will confuse Q and Tab a lot. Also, the middle click, which lets me choose um, what item I want to use from from a wheel. These three buttons get confused a lot. <laughs> just just for, so you know. Okay. Yeah, the volume of the game looks okay. Chapter 1, A New Beginning. So let us go to the quest log. I finally got here. I can start a new life in this valley. At the beginning, I should choose the right place to build my house. Maybe I'd better look for a bigger open area where I could build other buildings later if I needed them. After all, a household is not one cottage. Perhaps someday I will have close neighbors. At the beginning, I need to focus on my own house. I need some sticks, rocks. I definitely need an axe and cut down some trees for construction. A simple roof I could make of str make of straw, if I can get it from reed that could that should grow on the bank of a large river. Well, clearly there's a river here. And meow to everyone in the chat, by the way. Um, so I decided to go here, which is f rather far away. But there is a large area which is flat right here. If I'm not mistaken, it could also be that it was here. I will 
walk along the river and then then we will see where this area was if it was here e e either i started here last time in my personal game and then it was here or i started here last time in my personal game and then it was here i'm unsure but we will see i will walk there i will not walk there now actually before I build my own home, I'm actually going to check if there are some exclamation marks, which means there are people who have tasks for me. I'm going to check those out. Is it that boy? So when I press the Alt key, it um, this is the inspector mode. It also shows me who has the quest. The inspector mode also uses stamina, so I can't use it for long. Hello, can I help you with something? Oh. Oh, that was the wrong... Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't. I need help from a strong man. I will pay for it. Oh, consider me interested. I have to feed my family, but the food went missing. I have coins, but not time. That doesn't sound hard. I'll be right back. I think I will turn to my normal voice um, for myself. Sorry. Um... So let us check out that side quest. So we need to deliver four times meat to Rosalinda, which means we need to hunt, which is okay. Hunting is not that. So all of the quests last, of the side quest, quests last until the season is over. So I have made a habit of um, taking on the quests first thing at the beginning of the season. Let's get to... I don't wouldn't know how to pronounce this in English, but it's Yashavoy. Yashavoy. I don't know how the J at the end is pronounced, but I know that C said is sh. Okay. Can I can I help you with something? Can you help me solve a problem? Recently, those animals started to overpopulate and became a threat to the balance of this area. Can you get rid of them? Um. Oh, that's hunting rabbits, I think. Rabbits is very hard to hunt. I know I failed last time, but I'm going to try. Sure, I'll hunt them down. Let's check the thing. So, so if I fail one of these quests, my reputation goes down. And I need the reputation to be able to get people into my village later. But more on that when it's time for it, because it will take a good while until that. Because I will... Or I want to have a stock of things, food and wood, for them to use. There we go, there is Alvin. Alvin! Oh, that's not my dream, it's someone else's dream! Kudos to those who recognize this reference. Hi. Hi, my name... Well, that was not my voice. Hi, my name is Resimir. Hi, I am Alvin. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Also a good opportunity for me to learn vo doing voices. Well, good luck then. Every day I cultivate the fields. In fact, I do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Oh, of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in life over and over again? But the family needs my help and I'm doing my best. Uh, did I offend you? Sorry. That's fine. On top of that, the handle of my damn scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest crops. I think I know how to help you with this. I'll be back soon. So this one is a really easy quest. I can tell you that. Um, let us check. So this quest is deliver one stick to Alvin. Uh, Alvin? Deliver for me to Rosalinda and kill three rabbits. Okay. So let us do this because it's rather easy. Let us set this to the be the tracked quest. And sticks we simply get from these things over here. We can just collect the branches and get a few sticks. And there we go. Alvin, here, you can use that as a new handle. And again, I'm I'm full jamming. I'm 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 I was doing the hand over the. I need to. No, no I'm not going to let you see me like that. I'm already in my in my uh, pajamas. <laughs> nope. Maybe some other day, but not today. So, but I'm full acting right now. <laughs> Are you joking? How am I supposed to use it? 
<sighs> Give me that scythe. I'll show you how to do it. Fixes the scythe. All right. You surprised me. Are you some kind of craftsman? How did you know how to do it? I know how to create some simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Uh, maybe. I'm a farmer like my father and I don't know much else. You never know when something will be handy in your life. Huh, anyway, thanks for your help. I should get back to work. Sure, the ride won't cut itself. See you later. Yes, bye. And now it tells me about water, because of course we need to drink. And this is because the water bar, the blue bar here, is below 50%, which means I'm thirsty. Close. I think I pushed the X button five. No, I accidentally pushed C, not X. This is why I didn't close. Okay. So now, it's, now it says wait for the next day, because so this means we don't need to track this quest until tomorrow. Very good. Indeed. So for this quest, we need more sticks. Some stones. A stone X. Cut some trees, some straw, and build, you, build the first house. And we basically need to do all the, the things above to actually build the house. House. I really love to pronounce the word that way. <laughs> ah, yeah, I can run. Cause I can run by pressing shift. And sometime I'll be out of stamina. I'm just going to show you this. The screen goes darker and he pants a lot. Resimir or Sir Pants a lot. Uh, no, that was right. I just need to switch over to the map. There we go. I think I need to <coughs> get to the more far thing. Farer, farther. Or whatever. can already hear him panting so I'm stopping the run mode so yeah this is this is where I set up camp um, in the last play through well wouldn't wouldn't be a playthrough I never played through the entire game but I basically started to build my village here in into the woods patch and I gathered the wood here and I also built my fields over here because I wanted to have a, a little village in the woods. And while doing quests, I decided that next time, which is now, I'm going to try starting over... Ah, oh, yeah. I think it was actually here. Let's just run a little further. Also, I hope that you don't hear a low humming noise. All the... Yeah, this, this, does this place look really, really awesome? You can see the trees on the other side. We have a vast amount of space over here. Yeah, let's build our house here. And I'm actually mm, thinking. I'm thinking if I want to preserve the trees over here. Mm, yeah, let's let's head over into the woods over there to to fetch the trees to have a little bit of trees over here. So the first house. And it's also going to be a bit, um, let's say, inset. If someone, if, if I'm use, using a word wrongly, feel free to correct me. Worst that can happen is that I say it, uh, that it was on purpose, even though it might not have been. So, for the first house, we need six logs. That was the wrong button again. I wanted to close the menu. So first of all, we need to fetch some sticks. Come here, you sticks. So we see the sticks laying on the ground. Here, also some stones. Okay, seven, second stone. And there is some branches. There we go. Let's collect these mushrooms also. They aren't good for eating, so you can eat them, but they don't get, get you much. They get you one health, uh, one, one, um, 
one point of um, satiation words today. Anywho, you see we have the moral mushrooms, nutrition, that's the word, nutrition. We have been gifted some old rolls which have a nutrition value of 45, which I'm going to use once I'm below 50%. Okay, let's see. Let us have a little sip from the river. Back in these times, the water was way cleaner than it is today. Okay, let's head a little bit into this clearing, and that's the wrong button. It is Q for building. Craft an axe. And there we go. We already have the axe ready for use. Let us head into the woods over here and get some logs. Mm, let's start here. And cut down that tree. And it falls over. There we go. So the first hit will take all the branches off and the second one will cut it into neat little pieces and we can pick up the logs uh, of which we need six. So this being a rather small tree, small-ish tree, only gives us two logs. That was one hit too many. There we go. One, two. logs and now we're getting hungry so the game tells us that we need to eat food and as you might have noticed we could go a long time without eating and we only took half of our hunger meter half of our nutrition for now so I am going to Head back west to where we want to build. I don't want to be over cucumbered. See this nice valley here. Are we too too far? Is this too far already? No, no, no. That was that was where we wanted to be. Yeah. So somewhere around here we see this vast valley here or this vast I don't know how you call it it's it's got yeah. let's start building over here over here where the signpost is like here and then head inward a bit I know that this is a different place where we, uh, than where we were before, and it's Q, no, not here. Building, houses, simple small house. And I would def by default, it turns the entrance towards me. But since this will be showing the inside of the... Uh, so so the, the entrance is towards the inside of our, um, of our little town that we're building. So I'm going to do it like this. So this is outside of town, and then there will be here will be the inside of the town. So now we can inventory. We can equip the hammer slot number two. This one will break pretty easily. Yeah, that window is okay. So as you can see, we need lots of logs. That's okay. That window is also okay. In my first playthrough, I um, I moved the window and the doors, and the result was that I um, could not open the door anymore. This window is also okay looking down at the stream, that's really nice. And there we are, out of resources. 
so we need to get out the axe again. I think it was here where we actually start wanted to start, but I ran a bit too far back. Let's cut down this maple tree. I need to wait for our stamina to recover. I can take a little sip of water. People, don't forget to hydrate. If you don't have something to drink right next to you, please go and fetch something. Everything that you will see right now is just me felling trees. Of course, of course you can wait for a little longer until I'm doing the first crafting thing, which you need to wait. And now it tells me about sleeping, and this screen tells you that um, a season lasts three days, which we know is not true in this game, because we manually set it to be seven. One season equals one week. If I remember correctly, it's the same in Stardew Valley. There we go. Six logs, seven, I hope I... Yes, I can still run. Perfect. That's the reason why I don't um, pick up. And that's what I meant. The, the middle click, the, the mouse wheel clicking menu is that one. Let's finish it, these walls. Let's not break down these wall, but finish building this wall. And again, so this is something that we will be doing for a while now. Felling trees, building walls, until we're too tired to think. And then suddenly the house will be done. Cold hind paws, literally. I think I need to. I hope. I hope that I will have something to craft soon, because this means I can't do anything for a few minutes, and that I can real quick. You can see there was um, a rabbit, but we don't have anything to hunt it with. And the feathers down there, which are good for either making arrows once we are able to. Never did, that before. Never did that before. I should talk a little bit slower. Um, but you can still sell them. Yep. Now, how many logs do I have now? It is 3, 1, 35. Uh, one log is... 5. 5? That would be 2, two and a half. I could pick up one more log, but um, then I would leave some behind and I don't want to do this. Okay, now we need first of all here. First of all over here and up there for the roof we need four logs and straw. And we do get the straw from, as it said, from the river but I don't know if there is some here. Oh, ah, I was looking wrong. Yeah. Oh, there is. This looks. This looks just perfect. Lots of reed. We chose the correct place. So I think it is eight per roof part. It is four parts of roof. So eight times four equals. Uh, I said I can count. I didn't say I can do maths. Ocho. Oh, okay. I don't know what 30 is in Spanish yet. I only can count to 20. That should be enough. That 
That's one advantage if you talk while while doing stuff. You just do too much. 